Howdy folks, welcome back to Chopper's Rusty Customs, and now the new home of Rustification Nation. We're going to be working with that soon. I have a lot of stuff in progress for that. I had thought about doing a different channel for Rustification Nation, but I'm just going to work with it through this as well. So basically, Rustification Nation is going to be the forefront, and Chopper's Rusty Customs is going to be the support. So I entered the cancer build uh, last week I believe I was when I did the video of me going to join and I should, uh, see it didn't remind me again to shut the light off. Jeez. So this is the body for the Cadillac 59 El Dorado had to look um, looks like kind of an intense video, a lot of video, kind of an intense kit, a lot of detail, looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun, but I'm fighting with Rusty, Rusty says it should be Rusty, I'm thinking it should be clean, pretty, and then he says Rusty, and I think about Rusty too. So we're going to have to fight over that and see where this goes. So, showing you the body. It's, uh, there's three different colors of stuff here. Well, is it a color? No, I don't think so. So there's pink for the interior and the body, mostly. And then there's black for the undercarriage and everything else. And then you got the uh, chrome for it which the front grill and light section and front bumper is to die for. It, let me dig it out, I'll show you. See if I can get it to focus. Look at all of that. Oh, that is gonna be so fun, much fun to detail. See, he's got nice white walls. And so it's going to be a really fun kit to build. So, I'm going with pink and white. Pink for breast cancer because we've lost a couple friends due to breast cancer. And I'm doing white for lung cancer. Um, lost a few friends to that too as well. And then I have some pink flock to go in there for the carpeting and possibly some of their door panels and then I've got a panther pink that I could do like the dash or stuff in just to see how it's going to come out different ideas three different colors of pink along with the white so we're going to do a little thing here you guys like to respond to my videos so Rustification Nation Rusty wants to make it a, a patina car not like a rust bomb, but patina, where there is some rust and stuff. I kind of say paint it, make it pretty, because it is a tonight Cadillac. So, let's hear your input. I'm not going to start painting this until Friday. I'll, I have to primer it, just so that I can get paints to stick to them and stuff, make it decent. So, it'll be in primer by Friday. Friday night, well, I'll look at it Friday and then the weekend, and then Monday, I will do another video on this and show you what we, where we've come out of. We're either going to go rusty or we're going to go shiny. So this is a lot of you. I've got like 160 people now, 63, 64, somewhere right around there subscribe to my channel it's up to you you're going to make a big difference on how this build goes and another thing i wanted to bring up is that i think we're 163 64 like i was saying at 200 i will do a giveaway so you got to get a whole lot more people wanting to watch me 
I know I have a few more new subscribers, which is really cool. I appreciate you being here. Um, I wanted to bring up, I decided since I'm doing rat rods and stuff, I wanted to get some watch parts to build them with. Bought that off of the old Great Evil Bay itself for five bucks. Dollar to ship. Not bad. There's some good usable parts in there. Some stuff that I think I can use on other stuff. That would be uh, interesting. But I think from now on, I'm just going to kind of go to yard sales and stuff. If there's old wind-up watches or stuff. I'm just going to buy them if they're cheap enough. And then I'll just tear them apart and make them into my own. So, that's better for me. Plus, it's fun to tear them apart. <laughs> So, what else do I need to talk about? Oh, the 34 uh, gen Racer Gentleman build is set aside for right now. I have a month to get this Cadillac done the way I want it to. There's a whole lot of parts in that box, so it's going to take me a bit. So, I'm stopping everything else and I'm building this. Um, I do not foresee any uh, scratch building going on whatsoever. I'm going to build it out of the box pretty much. If anything is kind of changed or tweaked, it's because I'm going to be adding paints, washes, or whatever else to it to get the effect I want. But outside of that, yeah, it's just going to be pretty much box stock. Hmm, believe that or not. So we're getting there. We're getting a lot more umph to build and go. So hang in there. Watch me go. So it's like I throw out my next video. I'm going to tell you all have a great day. And oh yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace.